I think you'll find what I have to say extremely interesting. Yeah! Oh, baby, the man! Uh-huh. Come back to your club. Dad. Well, his people are talking to my people. Great! <laughs> oh, little mama, pick up an oh. air guitar and wail. Come on, pick it up. Come on, let's see what you can do. Come on. Come on, mama. You know, I just don't think the world is ready for that. I'll slap some butter on those pancakes. Come on, <laughs> mama. Play that guitar. Oh, yeah. My Woo! When did they get back? Perfect. I was afraid they might miss the fireworks. I can't stay long. I have to get back to court. I took Laura's portrait down. Nicholas wanted me to. Why should he be reminded every day of the mother who wrote him off? How's the case coming? The judge ordered Dr. Collins to a maximum security prison while he's awaiting trial, and I'm appealing for a transfer. And his spirit? What do you expect? In addition to being among hardened criminals, he doesn't have access to the psychological help that he needs. Pity. You almost sound like you like that man. Well, he's piqued my interest, obviously. He was kind to me on a dark day, so I thought I'd help him out. For purely magnanimous reasons, of course. But for now, it's enough that his breakdown serves our purposes. Aren't you worried about exposure? No, they'll never connect me to this. Not while I have the press thrashing around in the throes of wild speculation. Every day, a new front page story on the stalker shrink of General Hospital. The press is decoy. You might be right. I am. Mm. Modest, too. I want you to know that I have every intention of winning this case. And I want you to know that I expect nothing less of you on this case or the others that will follow. You will be very busy here, Alexis. The good Dr. Collins will spawn a whole new industry. Every patient he ever had will come out of the woodwork and file a malpractice suit. General Hospital will never recover. How does Luke Spencer fit into this? Forget about Spencer. He's so busy congratulating himself on his victory over the Cassidines. He won't know what hit him. The thrill is gone. The, the thrill, thrill is, is gone. Away. Away. Hey. Away. Hey, what's up, man? How was the concert? Oh, it was hey. great. See you guys. Bye. The thrill is... Was it something I said? <laughs> oh, I'm making him go to school after a B.B. King concert, no less. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, heartless. So, all right, I guess uh, you two won't be needing me, right? I always need you. Uh, yeah, I meant for the moment. OK, well, for a moment. I'll see you. Bye. Speak to me. Well, your instincts were right. I checked out that, uh, Timoria bank account where you were away. It's a phony corporation. What are they into? You name it, they do it. They got an offshore address and all transactions go through a numbered account in a Swiss bank. But the company originates out of Greece. Guess who is the chief operating officer? Stephen Cassidy. <laughs> account number 087244. Man, I love this. You broke into a Swiss bank account. Well, I got lucky. Uh, lucky? That's sheer genius. Yeah, but you'll use it, won't you? Yes, I will. All right, what are we going to do? Right now, we're going to sit tight. Wait, what do you mean sit? I thought you were anxious to get this guy off your back. He may already be. Yeah? Laura showed Nicholas the door. And you think Stefan's just gonna fold the tent split? Hey, man, I'm your friend. No due res all due respect to you, man. You're yanking your own chain. My men have been on these guys for days. They ain't going nowhere. Hello? Lasha, it's Stefan. Are you alone? Uh, 
Uh, this really isn't a good time. Well, if you got stuff to do, I'll go ahead. Hey, come on out back. I want to show you the treehouse Lucky's built. Okay. Uh, take care, Laura. Bye. Lasha, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So is Luke. What do you want? I'm sorry to call like this, but I need to see you. Absolutely not. It's important. I don't know how much clearer I can make this. I, I can't see you anymore. I thought you might make an exception to say goodbye. You're leaving? When? Will you meet me? We've already said our goodbyes. I'm asking you to do me this one last favor before we leave. You owe me that much. Why do you think I owe you? Because I brought you blueberries. You remember? I, I do. You were so homesick. You cried on my shoulder and told me how, as a young girl, you used to walk along the railroad tracks and pick blueberries right off the bushes to eat. I was so moved by your sadness that the next time I left the island, I brought you back an entire basket. It seemed to make you happy. Where? In the park. How soon can you leave? Give me a half hour. Problems? No. I'm gonna go out for a while. Luke? Hey, Laura. Bobby. Uh, you got a minute? I uh, really need to talk to you. I was just on my way out. I. Oh, hey, I didn't mean to run you out of your own home. No, I, are you all right, Bob? Uh, nothing. A dose of my big brother won't cure. I'm sorry to do this to you, Luke. Oh, that's okay. I know what day it is. I just came from the cemetery. It just doesn't get any easier. I keep thinking that one day I'm going to wake up and all the pain's going to be gone. But every day I wake up and it's just still there. Where's Tony? You want to know how great things are between us? I don't even know. I wish there was something I could do to help. What can anybody do? Oh, thank God I got Lucas. And I've got my work at the hospital, you know. I mean, if I didn't have that to go to, I think I'd be sitting in a corner pulling my hair out. I just miss that little girl so much. And, you know, that just makes me long for the other little girl that I lost. You know, I got a phone call from Virginia Benson the other day. And she finally heard from Caroline. Yeah? Yeah. Apparently, she's uh, met a guy. She's very happy. Did uh, Mrs. Benson happen to mention to Caroline that you are searching for her? No. No, because she didn't want to scare her off. You know, Luke, I've been thinking about what you said. And I'm convinced that my feelings for Caroline don't have anything to do with losing BJ. I mean, it's probably not going to make any sense to you, but I gave her life. And even though I haven't seen her in all these years, I feel a bond. I feel a connection with her. It's like something inside of me is calling out to her. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's like the need to breathe. Virginia Benson may have raised her, but she's my child. I guess I just need to know she's okay. If I could find her. Oh, Luke, would you try? Barbara, you know I'd do anything for you, anything. If you're sure. 
Well, sure. I mean, hey, what do we got to lose, you know? I mean, if she rejects me or... If Tony does... Well, it certainly can't be any worse than it has been for the past few months. I thought you hit a dead end last time you tried. No. I just stopped looking when we found a... donor. Did Mrs. Benson say anything that might indicate where Carolyn called from? No. No, I asked, but uh, according to Virginia, she wouldn't say. Okay, well, I'll call her myself. Virginia might remember something if I talk to her. Uh... Thank you, Luke. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Hey, listen, I haven't done anything yet. I know, but I know you, and I know you will. I gotta go. I gotta leave. I'm gonna be late for work. Okay, well, I'll call you as soon as I know anything. Oh, Luke, thank you. You know something? Sometimes I feel like you are the only constant in my life. <sighs> Tell Laura I'm sorry for barging in. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't a problem for her. Hello, Mrs. Benson? Yes, this is Luke Spencer. Oh, you do remember me. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. My sister tells me that you heard from Caroline. Did she say anything that might help us know where she is? Thank you for coming. Please sit down. You're taking Nicholas back to Greece? Yes. It's what you wanted, isn't it? Uh, why was it so important for us to meet? Since this is probably the last time we'll see one another, I... I felt that we should say our goodbyes in person. And I, uh... I wanted to apologize. Why? I lied to you. You were right about me. Excuse me. Sure. Sorry, ma'am, it's locked. What? That's impossible. General Hospital can't be closed. Me. Get him off of me. Yeah, I'll... Okay. Well, you think about it then, and I'll, I'll tell my sister you said so. All right, take I care. I am absolutely ready to explode. Well, come on in. My fuse is pretty short these days. <sighs> I'm really scared this time. It's Kevin. It's like a giant pit has just opened up, and he keeps falling and falling down into it. First... They take him to a place that I can only visit him 20 minutes a week. 20 minutes! And now these gigantic vultures are circling overhead. The press. No! His patients. They're suing him. Can you believe it? So many of them that they've had to close General Hospital. I just can't believe this is happening. It's almost like it is supposed to be happening, like someone's out to get him or something. You were right about why I let Nicholas stay. You were right when you said you knew me. I am the man you remember. It wasn't in my interest to concede these things to you. Why? What do you think? I've never known why you were here. 
Now you're leaving. We won't see each other again. That's what makes it possible to leave nothing unsaid this time. What did you intend when you came here? I wanted to punish you. To be the living instrument of my brother's curse. What made you change your mind? Well, an intention is a slight thing after all. It can feel as if it fills you, and animates your every act, but in a moment it can drop away. Or drop its mask and show another face. It may be that my reasons were hidden from us both. It's odd. Just now I had this strange sense that we were someplace else. I was listening for the water. At the cove. Do you think of it sometimes too? That's disappointing. I didn't think anybody else knew this place existed. Permission to be out of the compound. <laughs> well, I'm not the hounds come to track you down. You look different outdoors. It's nice here. Yeah. It's a long walk, though, huh? I wouldn't mind if it were longer. So what'd you do? Tell Stavros he was handsome? Whatever he said, I did. Well, he doesn't confide in me, if that's what you think. I suppose it's none of my business. You'd rather be alone. I told Stavros I'd marry him. Well, that was a mistake. My brother doesn't forget. He said it was either that or stay locked in my room. So... I see. Would he kill me if I said no? I don't think so. Would he rape me? Has he yet? I don't know. It's better this way. Before too long, you'll be giving me orders. <laughs> no, I don't think so. How you must hate us. So this is your secret place, huh? Yeah, until today. I won't tell. Do you mind if I come here sometimes? No. I don't mind. And anything you say here will be secret, too. Thank you. We still do. 
It made life bearable then. But unbearable now. And not just for you. People smell money, and it's like blood in the water. They all move in just to take a great big bite. And why not? There's plenty to go around. Why shouldn't we get our little share? They're forgetting that Kevin was there for them. When they hit bottom, he was there to pick them back up and put them back together. What? General Hospital is closed. <sighs> if this is an emergency, please dial this That's number. That's what I have been trying to say. You mean it's closed because of Kevin? Yeah, yeah, mostly, I think. I mean, at least that's what Alexis said. No, come on now. This is America. If every business in the country that was sued closed its doors, we wouldn't be able to buy gas or food, cigars. Oh, okay. So maybe it wasn't exactly all Kevin's fault. But I wasn't paying much attention when Alexis was trying to explain it to me, because all I was trying to think of is a way to keep Kevin from having to find this out, which is totally impossible. Who is Alexis? His lawyer. Oh, boy. Now all she's going to be doing is defending all these malpractice suits. So, catch your breath. Don't be outraged if I have to sell my share of Luke's to pay for all these bills. You know, Kevin is going to be drowning in legal fees. Oh, wait, wait, now. Sh she works for the hospital, No, right? she doesn't. She's bigger than that. She's much more important. Oh, whoa! Hold it, hold it. Lucy, start over. And go real slow this time. Try and keep me with you. First of all, who is this Alexis What's-Her-Name, and how did she get to be Doc Shrink's mouthpiece? She sort of just came out of nowhere, kind of like a nice, big, fat tax refund. No, impossible. No, that's impossible. Attorneys don't just come out of nowhere. They come from big offices, they're off tennis courts, or out of steam rooms, and they don't make house calls. All right, so maybe she didn't just come out of nowhere. What happened was, I was given her name. She was referred to me, but before I could even dial her number, there she was. That's not the issue here. The issue is Kevin. I'm not sure he really wants to save himself. Do you know, I went through hell just to get him to see that this is one terrible, horrible episode in his life. And it does not negate all the good things that he did. You know, all the wonderful ways he has about him and, and all the ways he helps people. And now those very people that he was helping, those ingrates, they're suing him because they're saying all his wisdom and all his hard work. And all his help did more harm to them. Well, it's a big, fat lie. I just don't get how much one person is supposed to take, you know? What if this time he goes into that place in his head and he never comes back to me? Oh, come on, Luce. So Doc Shrink's patients sue him. So what are they going to get? His lighthouse, his car, his savings? That ought to keep him in... Antidepressants till about Christmas. But that is all Kevin has. No, it isn't. He's got you. He's got you to help him start over. Doing what? Anything. People do it all the time. I've done it. You've done it. Come on. It, it... Who wouldn't go through hell just to wake up next to this shining goddess every morning? I haven't been exactly shining lately. Well, you've done the right thing so far. I mean, maybe it won't come to starting over. You got him good uh, attorney, this Alexis, what's her name? Davis, Davis. 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 Hey, you know what? Why couldn't Kevin come to work for me? Where is she from? Or do you think that would be too emasculating for a guy, you know? No, no, what's emasculating about hawking your girlfriend's perfume? Besides, uh, he's a shrink, not a lumberjack. Where are this woman's offices? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere in New York, I think. Hey, you know what? I do have a line for men. Jack's for men. She just dropped in out of the blue? Well, not really. I mean, she heard about Kevin through the grapevine, and, well, she did sort of show up before I could go in the blue and get her. Toiletries. You know, he could deal with the toiletries while I was doing the fragrance, because that's Lewis, not as magic. Luz, do you believe in an ordered universe? This sure as hell is not what I ordered. Right. It's totally random. There's nobody in charge. Right. Credibility. You know what? You guys have it. When you talk about deodorant, you have credibility because you guys sweat a lot. Oh, well, I'm breaking out in a sweat right now because I don't believe in coincidence or fate or fluffy patterns in the clouds. And if she is such a great attorney, why isn't the shrink out on bail? 
The stalker label. She is good, though. She really is. She's as smooth as an ice rink and just as cool. You know what she did? She did help me convince Kevin to plead not guilty when I thought that was totally impossible. Does she have friends in town here? Is she staying around here? What's up? Why? Here is a good question. You know, if there is this huge order in the universe, like we're presuming, then why in the world do we need, say, the metric system, huh? Wait a minute. Why do you keep changing the subject? Are you trying to tell me that you need a lawyer? Why do you need a lawyer? What are you doing? Men do not smell bad, Luz. I don't smell bad. Well, then... Do I? Do I smell bad? No. But why do we eat birds, for example? Beautiful, singing, necessary creatures. Why do we eat them? Why don't we eat, for example, cats? Feral cats. I mean, there's too many of them. We could get rid of them. Cats. Never mind. My doc would understand. Why do you marry men you don't trust? You're mistaken. You won't tell Luke about this conversation. I wanted to see you again. I wanted to see Nicholas again. It was very important to me. Because I really believed that if I tried hard enough and if I said that I was sorry often enough, that I would be able to take that piece of my life and add it to the rest. It's like a piece of a puzzle that was missing for years. But I was wrong. It's just not going to work like that. I mean, people aren't puzzles. I, I have to go on now without you. I understand. We were always something separate, you and I. We rarely spoke to each other in front of anyone, then and now. Alone, we could tell the truth. But anywhere else, it was all pretense. What I fear for Nicholas is that he may never belong to anything. But that space we made apart, where he was welcome to the world. You remember? You're back. Late yesterday. You weren't at dinner. I wasn't feeling well. So Stavros said. How was your trip? He still went up to your room after dinner, didn't he? He was drunk. You seem all right now, though. going to have a baby. I never thought beyond the next day on this island because I didn't care if there was one, but now I'm going to have someone that I can love for the rest of my life. You will give us an heir. Because of you, we won't disappear, as we may deserve to. You and your child will have my every loyalty.
whether or not you were happy. Of course I was happy. But I also realized on that day how much I envied my brother. I thought I would be a better father than Stavros. But my envy was punished fittingly when the job of raising Nicholas fell to me. He was a secret one like you. His eye was always drawn to the water like yours. I would take him to the cove sometimes with me to escape Helena. Of course, there was no escaping Helena entirely. Since he would have the family one day, I was obliged to let him sit through hours of her indoctrination. Head the family? Yes, when he comes of age. But I thought you were there. No. As with all monarchies, the Cassidine succession is passed down to the first son of the first son. I'm merely his regent, as it were. My son? Yes. And you raised him knowing that one day you would be second to him. He will be a very different power from what Helena or Stavros were. He has your mark. Your heart, that strength and kindness mixed. And I have protected that in him, as I promised I would, on the day you told me there would be a Cassidine you would always love. out of life. I'm a realist now, but thank you. I've heard that Helena is very ill. Yes. She may last another year. She may not. Knowing mother, she might last another 20 just to spite us. But still, when she does pass away, there's really nothing to hold you and Nicholas to that island. Nothing except who we are. But that's something you can create for yourself. So other people can, not Cassidines. I know. You promised. But parents are supposed to make promises. Where did you find that? It was on the sand. <laughs> I was waiting for a tide to take it out to the mainland. Nicholas pulled it out of my hair. It must have blown away. Mm. Mm. Strong hands. <laughs> Made for seizing. Yes. Made for swimming, maybe. One day you'll catch a tide to the mainland, won't you, little boy? And you'll be free to go wherever you want in the world. That may be a difficult promise to keep. Parents are supposed to make promises. And the ones that they can't keep just become dreams, I guess. What good are dream? Did you really grow up without any? Apparently.
Did any of yours come true? It almost did. Is it possible for a dream to come late with no promise before it and none likely? I imagine. May I tell you mine? Baby's getting sort of cold. I'm gonna take him back. May I ask you something? lost a ribbon from your hair. I, I, I don't remember that day as well as you seem to. It was autumn. You had Nicholas. You said that even promises that couldn't be kept meant something. And I wondered if the same were true for promises that couldn't be made. Then you ran off. Why did I do that? That is my question. I don't remember. Do you know what I was going to say next? <sighs> I don't think so. Do you know now? No. Did you ever wonder? What was it? Only that I loved you. I swear it's like the whole thing was planned. I realize that you just came all the way down here with me just because you're my pal. And also, I probably did seem like a wacky wreck when I showed up at your door, but I am feeling a lot better now, and it's thanks to you being so receptive and so sweet to me. Good. But I'm going to hang with you, Luce, because whether Doc Shrink's mouthpiece has good news or bad, it's always a good idea to have experience backup. You know, moral support and all that. Well, you know, Alexis does give me that much. She does. You trying to ditch me? No. No, 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 no. I just had this thought. You and Laura have had scads of experience with attorneys over the years, right? Well, of course, through no fault of your own. We can get an injunction faster than a babysitter. Good. Okay, so what I was thinking is maybe you could stay and just sort of size this attorney up. Tell me what you think, because after all, she is holding Kevin's life in her hands, so I want to be sure. God. No problem. And more importantly, I don't want my partner hooked up with some fast-talking close horse who's going to charge you a full day's wage for just stapling two papers together. Good afternoon, Lucy. Mr. Spencer, am I talking too fast? Do you ever wonder? What was it? Only that I loved you. That was a very long time ago. Yes, it was. But some feelings don't change with time. I loved you then. And I still do love you. Please don't say this. Why not? It's true. Aren't you the one who's always demanded the truth? Things were so different back then. It, it was all so intense. It was unreal. It, that's the feeling that you're remembering. Don't you think I've told myself that a thousand times? Don't you think I wanted to come here and find that you were just some ordinary woman without any hold over me. It would have made my life so much simpler. But no. You were still incomparable. Still, Lucia. 
From the moment I saw you on that dock, I knew I could not escape the way I feel. I wanted to turn you away. But you were so extraordinary, so beautiful, pleading for your child with the passion I remembered. I couldn't do it. I swore I would never, ever say these things. Then why are you now? Because we're leaving and I may never see you again. Because these things could not be left unsaid any longer. And because this is my gift to you. Nicholas will always have the best of me because I've loved his mother. It's not the first time you've given me that gift, is it? Oh, uh, Luke, this is Miss Davis. Uh, Miss Davis, this is Luke Spencer. I guess I don't really have to tell you that. So, Miss Davis, a pleasure. <laughs> I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Miss Davis. I heard you call Lucy your partner, so I made the logical inference. Oh, that's right. Um, you see, I told Alexis that we were partners. She needed to know all my economical assets just in case I am sued because people believe that I should have called the police on Kevin. Thorough. But would you, I mean, think about it. Would you call 911 just because someone's a little moody and bored and a little unpredictable? It's better than thorough. Because you have to know how much she's worth before you can take her for all she's worth, right? Luke, I I'm sorry. You see, he just, um, well, he has a bit of a skeptical nature. Don't take it personally. Call me homely, and I'll take it personally. Call me craven, and I'll take it you're not a virgin with the legal profession. You ain't homely. Thank you. Ah, see? I told you she is great, isn't she? Yeah, she told me that. She also told me that you just dropped in out of heaven. And I never thought that was a launching pad for lawyers. <laughs> and Manhattan. I said she dropped out of Manhattan from a law firm in New York. She came very highly recommended. A skeptical nature and opposable thumbs are all that separate us from the beasts. My resume, <laughs> if you're interested. Thank you. Um, Alexis, to Kevin. What is going on with all those cases? How bad is it really? All right, I think it's... The University of Louvain? <gasps> Belgium. I just need to do some preliminary... So work. many schools? So many different countries, so little time. I take it you bore easily. Very. Now, what I was saying before... You got your law degree from Harvard. Uh, this is fascinating. I I'm, I'm really enjoying hearing about that, but um, I really want to talk about Kevin, please. Which I would very much like to do, if Mr. Spencer is finished. Oh, don't wait for me. I'm like a bad haircut. I grow out at my own pace. <laughs> You see, uh, Luke is a very good friend of Dr. Collins, too. I'm very glad to hear that. Dr. Collins can't have enough supporters. But, of course, I can only discuss my client with the representative that he's named. You. Oh, right. Um, Luke, why don't you go have a drink at the bar, and then we can talk to her a little bit later. What do you think? I have a feeling that Miss Davis is not going to have any time to socialize later. Enough already. You know, you can't get rid of me. You're going to have to get her to do it. Uh, I tell you what. Could we just have a couple of minutes alone together, please? I, I think Mr. Spencer is going to suggest a background check might be in order. She said you were smart. So in the interest of saving us all a lot of time, I'll be happy to sit here and answer whatever questions you might like. Ask away. I know that it couldn't have been easy for you, raising Nicholas all alone on that island. Especially with that woman breathing down your neck, giving you all kinds of instructions on the proper way to raise a prince, no doubt. Yes, Mother did enjoy having her input. But you preserved his spirit in spite of her. It wasn't selfless. I preserved your spirit in him for myself, so that I would have a friend. Stefan, may I say something? 
what you did for me. Coming here with Nicholas and saving Leslie Lou's life. And then allowing Nicholas to stay for a while so that I could get to know him. I will forever be in your debt. I don't know how to thank you. You are not like the rest of them. I have always known that. And because of that, I'm able to leave him with you and say goodbye. Goodbye. We're getting good at that, aren't we? Do you remember the last time? When I look back, which I try to avoid. That day stands out as one of the most important. Neither of our lives were ever the same again. You're right. Once Helena allowed me to know the truth, my husband was still alive. My life was divided right down the middle. And no, it was never the same. He's alive, did you hear me? He's alive. And more than anything in the world, do you want to be with him? Yes. I mean, I'd, I'd just like to see him just just to be sure. But I can't, can I? You have a son. Before now, I would have just run away. Nothing and no one could have kept me on this island. I don't doubt that. But now I have someone that I love just as much. What am I gonna do? Look at me. I'm his godfather. I won't let any harm come to him. Believe that. I meant to come back. You must know that. I know what Helena and Stavros put you through. And who could blame you for taking a way out of that hell? My son. And you blame me too. Because that's what was expected of me. I am a man who has lived shackled to his family from the very first day I was born. Even the woman who made me see life's potential belonged to my... No, no, I will own my truth now. The woman... who made me see. You've answered your own question. I'm in love with another man, and I always will be. But what if he didn't exist? <laughs> B 
Everybody does. At least you tell the truth. I didn't tell my husband the truth. And it hurt him more than anyone will ever know. But still, he stayed with me. He chose our family. And now I have to do the same thing. I think it is best that you and Nicholas leave. That's how it will be. And my promise from all those years ago still holds true. I love Nicholas. For many reasons. And I will see that no harm ever comes to him. Thank you. So, um... You're... you're going to leave tomorrow? The sooner the better for everyone. Thank you, Stefan. For Nicholas. And for Lulu. Actually, no. My early graduate work was in political science. I'll bet you'd make a good politician. All that spin control, double speak, focus groups. Politicians don't study politics. They take self-confidence courses and the <clears throat> lessons. You don't need those. After Harvard. After Harvard, she joined that little firm of Ryan, Gorchek, and Chuchek, and Woodchuck. It doesn't matter. We know that. She worked herself up to junior partner. She's already told us all this. Was that difficult? What about that glass ceiling we always hear that women come up against? You've seen those fire alarms? Break glass in case of emergency? It became an emergency for me to leave the firm and start my own practice. Altogether, I have 12 years litigation experience, an excellent acquittal record in criminal cases, and if I may say so, a knack for quick and favorable settlements in civil suits, as my bank account will attest, should you wish to investigate it. Oh. No, no, no. No, I'm sure you're good with numbers. So what are you doing to get the uh, doc out of this maximum security motel? I mean, I hear from Luce that he can't even see his own head shrinker. That can't be good. And he's not getting much of a chance to see her. It sounds like an emergency situation to me. Absolutely. Having Dr. Collins transfer back to Port Charles and reinstituting his therapy are our most crucial immediate goals. Uh-huh. And what are your immediate crucial steps in that direction. Oops! Oh, guess we ran up against that wall of confidentiality again, didn't we? Right, so, um, why don't you go to the bar and have a drink and then I can find out this for myself? Do you okay. have a list of past clients by any chance? Uh... Do you have a list of references in your hand, Mr. Spencer? It's getting late. Uh, I know. Luke? Please, I know you mean well, and, and I asked you to do this, but enough is enough, okay? I have to find out about Kevin. He is stuck in a jail cell right now. He doesn't know if or when he'll ever get out. And meanwhile, the whole sky has fallen in. Felicia's against him, and every single patient he's ever had is suing him. So please, let me just find out where we stand with Miss Davis here, and you go to the bar and have a drink. Please, on me, go. No, you're being lied to, Luce. Okay, why don't we go to my office, Miss Davis? That might be better. I don't run away from challenges, Lucy. Best you know that about me. A challenge. Okay, challenge. All right, well, you know, I haven't been to six universities, and I've never seen Belgium. But it just seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, that a very successful, attractive, dynamic attorney from New York like yourself doesn't scour the hinterlands looking for some doctor who, in his spare time, terrorizes women and small children side are you on anyway hey, i'm sorry babe i'm just i'm just talking in you know headlines here just i'm just you you get my drift don't you miss miss davis you, you you see the problem i'm having with this why didn't you just say so at the beginning i'd never have heard about this if someone didn't bring it to my attention what attention
question by whom? A as in Mac? I mean, please, Commissioner Scorpio? No, a Mr. Stefan Cassadine suggested that I look into it. What? A Cassadine? Why didn't you tell me this? Should I? Yes, you should have. Do you have any idea what the Cassadines did to this town? Or, or did to Luke, for that matter? Uh, save it, sweetheart. There are no blanks <gasps> that Miss Davis needs filled in. Now, if Mr. Spencer is, is finished, perhaps we could discuss what I came here to discuss with you. Well, you know, I have a whole lot more questions. Look, but I don't think you're the person to ask. Lucy, listen to me. It is important for Dr. Collins that we continue what we've started. You may not have outright lied to me, but you were not completely honest with me either. Pleading my sincerity now would be pointless. Besides, sincerity is not what you need. Results are and those I can give you. See, that's it. That's exactly what I want to hear from my lawyer. A lawyer I can trust. You're fired. That's unfortunate. I'd wish you and Dr. Collins luck, but I'm afraid that you'll need more than that. You'll let me know where you'd like your files forwarded. You can send a bill for this session to me. This one's free of charge. Take care of her, will you? This is great. This is just great. Luce, I know that was hard, but it was really, really really smart. You were right about Spencer. He's very sharp. He was just about to figure out our connection on his own, so I beat him to it. After which, I was promptly fired. So far, we could have written this chapter in verse. You know, I, I have to say, I have heard about this man for years now, and I'm still surprised. I have never met a non cassidy I'm quite so sure of himself. So, am I up to speed? Am I? Is there something happened that I should know about? Hey, darling. Where are the kids? Lucky went to Ruby's. He left a note. Stefan and Nicholas are leaving for um, Greece tomorrow. Is that what Stefan told you? Yeah, I seem pretty set on it. You bought it? I didn't buy anything, Luke. I just listened. He told me that he would take care of Nicholas again. I don't have any reason to doubt that. I just hope he was telling the truth about leaving. What do you think? He seems sincere. What lying and manipulating are just second nature to the Cassadines. I haven't forgotten that, Luke, despite what you may think. I want to believe him. That's a little different from uh, buying into anything. So I said goodbye. And I thanked him for the sacrifices that he made on Nicholas's behalf. And I don't think I'll ever see him again. So you think the Cassadines are 
finally out of the picture? I, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. You're distracted, Stefan. Something you didn't count on? Everything went as expected. And I expect it will continue to. All right. Go now. take on this? Sure. Stefan isn't going anywhere. <sighs> Based on what? Something you don't know. Luke? Laura? What? Hello? Come in. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I was so afraid you weren't going to be here and I was going to have to deal with this by myself. Barbara, take a deep breath. Start at the <sighs> beginning. What's up? Is it Tony? Uh, Tony? I don't even know where Tony is, but I can tell you where he isn't. He's not at the hospital. You want to know why? Because the hospital is closed. What do you mean the hospital is closed? The patients, they've all been transferred to Mercy. The doors are padlocked, the whole thing. It's over. That's impossible. No, it's not. General Hospital is closed. And as far as anybody can see, it's not about to reopen. 